we're going to be looking at Hubble's law. So the redshift of light from distant galaxies provides evidence that supports the universe is expanding. Hubble's law is another piece of evidence that supports an expanding universe. So let's consider four galaxies that are one megaparsec apart. So that's 3.1 times 10 to the 22 meters apart. And after one hour, because of the expanding universe, they are now two megaparsecs apart. So galaxy B relative to galaxy A was initially one megaparsec away, but is now, an hour later, two megaparsecs away. So it's moved a distance of one megaparsec in that hour. So it has a speed of one megaparsec per hour. Galaxy C relative to galaxy A was initially two megaparsecs away, but an hour later is now four megaparsecs away. So it has moved a distance of two megaparsecs in that hour, and so has a speed of two megaparsecs per hour. And finally, Galaxy D relative to Galaxy A was initially three megaparsecs away, but an hour later is now six megaparsecs away. So has travelled a distance of three megaparsecs in that hour, and so has a speed of three megaparsecs per hour. So this is showing you that. The speed of the galaxy is directly proportional to its distance away. And this is Hubble's law. And Hubble's law states that the speed of a galaxy that is moving away from Earth is directly proportional to its distance away. So we can express Hubble's law mathematically like this. And if we plot a graph of the speed of the galaxy, against the distance the galaxies from Earth, we'll get a straight line through the origin. And the speed of the galaxy is found from the redshift of the light from these galaxies, and we use the Doppler shift equation. So going back to this expression here, to get it into an equation, we need to introduce proportionality constant which is Hubble's constant, H0. And for practical units, we have the speed of galaxy measured in kilometres per second. The distance of galaxies from Earth in megaparsecs. And so based on that, where Hubble's constant is equal to the velocity divided by the distance, the units of Hubble's constant will be the units of velocity, kilometres per second, divided by the units of distance, which will be megaparsecs. So practical units of Hubble's constant is in kilometres per second per megaparsecs. If we were to look at the equivalent SI units, because velocities, SI units, are meters per second and the SI units of distance is meters, that will leave Hubble constant with SI units of per second. Hubble's law provides evidence for the expanding universe from a single point because initially if all the galaxies were at a single point, then now the galaxies that are furthest away they must have the greatest speeds. So Hubble's constant will be found from the gradient of the graph. And as more and more data is being obtained from different galaxies, we can determine a more accurate value for Hubble's constant. 
and that's important because from Hubble's constant we can determine the age of the universe. To determine an approximate age of the universe we will assume a uniform rate of expansion for the universe. So initially all the galaxies originated from the same point at the start of the universe and now the galaxy has travelled a distance d with a constant velocity that according to Hubble's law will equal h naught d. So the time taken for this galaxy to travel this distance d will represent the age of the universe. So we know time taken is equal to the distance travelled divided by the speed and the speed is given by Hubble's law. So if we substitute in the values we'll get the age of the universe is equal to the distance divided by h naught d. The distance is cancel. So the age of the universe is equal to 1 divided by Hubble's constant. The current value of Hubble's constant is 71 kilometers per second per megaparsecs. So to convert this into SI units, we need to convert the kilometers into meters. So that means times this by 1000. And then 1 megaparsec is equal to 3.1 times 10 to the 22 meters. So to convert the per megaparsecs into per meter, we need to divide this value with this value. And that will give you Hubble's constant equals 2.3 times 10 to the minus 16 per second. So the age of the universe is equal to 1 divided by Hubble's constant. So that will give the age of the universe to be 4.4 times 10 to the 17 seconds, which is equal to about 15 and a half billion years. It's important to note that this age of the universe is an approximation and that's because we've assumed that the rate of expansion of the universe is constant. The galaxies have been moving at a constant speed. However, if the rate of expansion is decreasing, so the galaxies are decelerating to a speed v that they have now at a distance d away, then the average speed of these galaxies will be greater than v. And so according to Hubble's law, the Hubble's constant will be greater than the current value that we have. And so the age of this decelerating universe will be less. So the 15.5 billion years will be an overestimate. If the rate of expansion was increasing, so the galaxies are accelerating to a velocity v that they have now in their distance d away, then that means the average velocity of these galaxies will be less than v. And so from Hubble's law, Hubble's constant, the same distance d, will be less than the current value. And so the age of the universe will be greater. So the 15.5 billion years will be an underestimate of the age of the universe.